Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe, Lord. Please, please. Anyway, this video here, we are going to talk about paying myself, income, how I pay my bills, and everything else. We are looking at what I brought in for December is December 26th. So all of my books have been closed. I do have one more signing day after tomorrow, but um, I've kind of already put that in there as well. I'm going to share my screen and I am going to kind of show you how I, what I use. And I use a Google sheet, nothing spectacular to pay my bills so that I, I know how my money is flowing. I've always preached like, don't spend this money as you get it. You have to get some money management skills. I'm not saying that I am the best at money management. I've definitely made tons of mistakes along the way. I'm just sharing some tips and tricks that maybe could help you, or maybe you even have some information to help me. So I pay myself once a month. That is it, once a month. And I take out my taxes and I put away savings immediately. And you will see why. Because in this video here, I got $85 left to spend for the month. And that does not include gas or groceries, right? Excuse me, I'm a big birthday. But I just wanted to kind of show you guys because I get a lot of questions about well, how do you pay yourself? What do you do? What do you do about taxes? What do you do about this? So I'm going to just kind of show you what I do for each business. Let me make myself little. All right. So these are my real authentic numbers. We all know that I did not want to work so hard in um, December. And this is really a reflection on how low the signings have been. And I declined a lot of them. I countered a lot of them and I didn't get them. So I, but my goal was to kind of chillax for December anyway. So when we start here, this here is Ebony's Mobile Notary. And Ebony's Mobile Notary only brought in $2,800 for the month of December. That's it. And that's all. That was less than $3,000. I paid $700 in taxes. And I put away $525 for my savings, which brought my balance down to $1,575. 757 Notary Sisters only brought in $200. And that's with my Etsy store and my stand store. $50 went to taxes, $37 went to savings, y'all. I do 25%. So that left a balance of $110. Boss Events brought in $1,900 for December. 475 of that went into taxes, 350 went to savings, which brought my total to $1,075. I worked a couple of shifts as a nurse, including the one that I'm going to be working today. That'll bring my total to $1,000. They take out the taxes before I get it. So they're going to take out approximately $250, which they have. Put $185 of that into my savings which left me $565, as you can see. And I highlight, I use colors. I need all of this. So that I, I can see my money. And of course, we're gonna start with my regular bills and my household expenses, right? That's where I start with. I gotta have a roof over my head and I gotta have a car to drive. So my rent, and we pay our rent with our water bill. It came up, it was really like 1374 or something. $13.75 is what I paid the rent office. I do pay my daughter's car payment. Her car payment is $400 a month. I pay my insurance. She pays hers. Mine is $150. I pay the light bill, which was $140. My Wi-Fi, which was $100. And then I got my cell phones. Y'all know I do have two cell phones, and which was $175, which brought my grand total to $23.40. But remember, I'm working off of this number here. This 3325 is what I'm working off of as far as cash in hand. Then Ebony's Mobile Notary has its own set of bills, my domain, my marketing expenses, my Adobe, my toner, and my paper, which brought that down to $375. 757 got a ton of bills. 
my domain, my Zoom, my stand store, StreamYard, my Planable, which brought that to $255. But remember, Ebony's Mobile Notary only made 110. So we really in the negative. We really in the negative. And these things here that I'm saying I'm going to cancel, I'm working on it. The Zoom, I want to cancel it. I do have like two more calls. So I can't cancel it yet. And then my StreamYard, and I'm not using StreamYard today because I plan on canceling it today. Um, and that's just a feature that I can use to stream live videos when I was streaming them in the group. And then my Planable is... Um, um, my planable is for me to be able to post and make it where it's scheduled post. So 757 bills, $255. Boss Events has bills. My marketing supplies is $150. My storage space that I use is $100 a month. And then I use Luma, Luma Booth, which is $20 a month which came up to $270. So all of my bills in total came up to $3,240. So $3,325 minus this left me with $85. But remember, I do have savings and I'm always trying to save, but I can't spend my savings. You don't want to blow your savings. So this is what Basically, you know, a lot of people are always saying, well, maybe I don't want to make $10,000. Well, this is what $6,000 a month looks like for me. Your bills may not be my bills. My bills ain't your bills. But this is what it looks like for me. And I have to stay consistent with it. And it took a long time for me to learn and grow and say, hey, stop spending. Stop eating out. Because as you can see, we ain't put gas in the car. We ain't put no groceries in the house. We ain't done none of those things. But because I take out my savings from the top, if there was something that was to come up, and of course, I'm going to have to get gas. Of course, I'm going to have to get food. I can always pull from there. Thank you, Lord. This was not overnight. We're talking three years in the making. I blew my money in 21 in 2021. I blew my money in 2022. I blew a lot of money, not as much. I learned in 2023. Okay? I learned in 2023. I don't know what else to say, but running a business ain't easy. Keeping up with your expenses, keeping up with all your bills, it ain't easy. We already struggling day-to-day -day life. And now we're on top of this, we throw in some businesses, right? We throw in some businesses. And then, of course, you know, we just had Christmas. Again, I don't have small children. I ain't buy no Christmas gifts for nobody. It, for me, it's Christmas every day. That's just how my mind operates. I, I'm not big on holidays or whatever. Um, I didn't go anywhere, but... My thing for Christmas was, hey amen, I was able to pay my bills. Hey amen, I'm not going hungry. Hey amen, these lights ain't turning off. Hey amen, that car ain't getting repossessed. All of those things. So that's Christmas for me every single day, right? So just to kind of give you an insight of what I do for bills, I wish I had started using a spreadsheet a lot earlier. I used to, oh, I just pay it when I get it. Or I do it from my phone. But when I can see it on that spreadsheet, I know what I need to improve in. I know what I need to do different for the next month. Let's see what I can cut out. What expenses can I cut out? And you see, I don't even have like my Netflix and Hulu up there. Cut them, cut them. I did. But I get it. If you're like, oh, I need something to watch on TV. No, the TV was watching me. The TV was watching me with my Wi-Fi and stuff. I think I get a few channels, those bunny ears up. I'm out in the streets. I'm grinding. I'm trying to get where I want to be in life. And that's what I'm doing. So I know that I don't have a bunch of that. I went on Rocket Money and had them go through all the Apple $7.99 to Apple and this. And I ain't even add Canva in there. I need to add my Canva in there because I don't know how did I forget about Canva? Lord knows I pay for Canva. But um, that does come out and it's only $8. But 
that is how I look at my bills. This gives me a projection. And then once I pay them, let me share my screen again. So once I pay them, I put the date. So I know that I paid my rent this morning. Paid. Just like that. And that's how I mark it. I'll probably do another color. Let's do a green color. Paid. And then now I know. So then next month, I'm going to make sure that I got paid all the way down through all of these. And if I cancel, did I cancel? Whatever I did, pay, pay, paid, I'll do all of that. I'm going to go on ahead and buy my paper, buy my toner, buy my business cards, get my flyers. So I already have them on hand. So I'm not struggling to, oh, I need this. I need this. Nope. It's already going to be paid out of my monthly expenses. And then that's done. So at the end of January, I can come back and I can make a new sheet and I'll put uh, January income for February bills. Does that make sense? I hope so. I hope so. And I know y'all, y'all don't like to be kept long. Y'all don't like to be kept long. But just sit down and have a realistic meeting with yourself. Have a realistic meeting of what your finances look like and see what you can do to change them. A lot of people are set in their old ways. I, I get it all the time. Well, I don't do that. So why are you on my phone asking me for help if I'm telling you the things that I do that I, that can help you and you're steady like, well, I don't do that. I don't do that. Well, then keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. You were reaching out because there was a need. But if you're not going to listen to the solution that I'm giving, then I don't know how to help you. Again, I'm not no guru at this. I am just a regular schmegular person, just like everybody else that's trying to keep your head above water trying to make sure that we pay bills. But I realized once I stopped going out to eat, once I stopped spending recklessly, that I could see my money. And now will that $1,100 that's in my savings dwindle down? Absolutely. Gas is expensive. Groceries are high. Now, well, now all the money that I'm making moving forward for January, that's going to be all the money that I got. I'm going to need for my February bills. So I'm booked, booked and busy. Come, what is it, December 31st, I've got a wedding. January 1st, I've got a wedding. January 6th, I've got a photo booth. January 11th, I've got a photo booth. January 19th, I've got two weddings and a photo booth. January 28th, I've got a wedding. But all of that money is going to go towards my February bills. So boss events is going to show up and show out. 757 probably won't do anything, y'all. I still got the things on sale for the virtual networking. It's 100 slots available. It's only $7 where we do the virtual networking, but ain't nobody signed up. Ain't nobody signed up. So there went that. I probably won't do it for February because then nobody signed up for either one of the dates in January. Um, of course, I still got the recorded courses. Um, they're 75% off if you use Holiday 23. They're on sale for like 10, 11 bucks. So that'll be that if anybody buys those, but ain't nobody been really hitting on them. And Ebony's Mobile Notary, those signings is low. I'm not taking a refi for $55. I'm just not doing it. Um, so I'll take my directs, but that's about it. For real. And as I've said before, I've chosen to return back to nursing. I start my new job on January the 2nd, and I'm going to treat that job the same way I'm treating my business. Even though, say, they payroll maybe every two weeks, I'm going to be saving it for the end of the month. That first check that I get, I'm not spending that. I'll wait for that second check and then put my monthly bills, do what I do. I hope this information helps somebody. Let me know what your tips are for you paying out your bills, especially if you're an entrepreneur and what you can teach me. What if I helped you leave a comment, like, subscribe. And I hope this really helps y'all. Um, if I don't see y'all, happy new year.